What is going on Twintendo Nation? Today I'm going to be showing you guys Pelipper Island in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Now it's quite different to how it was in Time Darkness and Sky. It's got a lot of new features and a lot to talk about such as Street Pass, online play and even dungeons that are exclusive to Pelipper Island. So I'm going to be talking about everything that you can do there and basically how to do it. So this is a tutorial video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now before I start this video, I must mention that we've opened another straw poll for our second episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Top 10s. What this basically is, is Top 10s about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but you decide the answers. You basically decide the results of the video so no one can really complain, and it's just a good way for you guys to get involved in our videos. So the link will be in the description if you want to vote. The second episode is all about the top 10 explorers of time, darkness and sky dungeons. What are your favourite dungeons? There's a list of 30, pick your favourite and hopefully your favourite one will win. So that's it guys, let's start the video. So let's start off with what is Pelipper Island. So Pelipper Island is an island that is only found in the top menu of the game. So you can't go into your game, you know, boot up your save file and start playing and then, you know, go to Pelipper Island. This is actually found at the menu at the start of the game. So. When you load up the island, you'll get asked a few questions like you would in the questionnaire at the start of any Pokemon Mystery Dungeon gameplay, I guess apart from Gates of Infinity. But you'll get asked a few questions, and then once you answer them, you'll get three additional starter Pokemon, not counting the ones that are in your playthrough at the moment. There will be three different starter Pokemon, so they won't be the same as your other ones. And they'll be decided for you. Um, it obviously depends on what questions you picked. So I don't actually have any gameplay of that because I decided them like ages ago. I didn't even know that. It was a one-time thing, but I got Mudkip, Charmander, and Snivy, and as you'll see, well, you get to see those Pokemon in this gameplay, and you also get to see Mudkip, because obviously Mudkip's my favourite Pokemon. I was very fortunate to get Mudkip in those questions, but they can only be used on Pelop Island, these Pokemon. Obviously, you can recruit them in your main playthrough, because you can recruit every single Pokemon, but these are a little bit different, these Pokemon. So, you're then asked to select any of your Pokemon to play as on the island. You can play as the Pokemon you've recruited in your main playthrough, or you can play as these three Pokemon. Now they're they're not the strongest, but you know that's pretty good to say. You don't have to start off as level five again. Now Pelipper Island is essentially a connectivity hub. It's basically where your street pass happens, where your online play happens as well. It's pretty interesting. So it's where you can connect with other players to access a variety of missions, including rescuing other players. Which, by the way, guys, if you've forgotten, I did mention that I'm going to be setting up like a bulletin board video where if you do faint. Go onto that video, comment down that you fainted, put your code in, and you can be rescued by someone else. And it's a really fun way because obviously you are going to run out of things to do in the game eventually if you do all the connection or missions. So it's kind of like additional missions and it's kind of like more realistic. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I will definitely post that out around the 20th of November when the game comes out. So look forward to that. So let's talk about one of the first things you can do on Pelipper Island. So one of them is rescue missions. This has kind of been in the game for a long time. So it's probably Blue and Red Rescue Team, obviously, with the rescue in the title. And the core part of Pelipper Island is these rescue missions. And you can access these rescue missions by talking to the left-hand side Pelipper. So the one at the top, basically, on the left-hand side. And when another player has fallen in a dungeon during their main game, so through their playthrough, they can create a password, a QR code, or send local connections in order to request being rescued. So for example, if you're like, your brother's fainted and he's got the game, obviously you can do local connection, but if you've got no one to play the game with and you don't want to lose your items and stuff, you can send a password out or a QR code. And obviously with that video I mentioned earlier that we're planning to make, you can post your like password in the comment section People will look at that because I'm going to make sure like a lot of people were, you know, checking that video out every day. It's kind of like the bulletin board, as I said, and they will see your password, you know, respond to you, hopefully rescue you. Hopefully it's uh, not too tough a dungeon for them. And yeah, it's basically, it's like that. It's basically how the old Mystery Dungeon games worked, but it's, it's still interesting. I like the connectivity idea. I still think without, you know, a, an area to post these passwords and stuff, like maybe... There isn't no, a great place to, you know, post these officially apart from, you know, like videos like I'm making, maybe Reddit, Facebook, stuff like that. So that's what I'm disappointed with. But anyway, the mission that you accept by typing in the password is success from Pelipa Island. And then you can use any single Pokemon you've recruited or you've got in the game to go rescue them. So you can use any Pokemon, like I said, you recruited in the Connection Orb, your starter Pokemon, the Pokemon you spawn in with on Pelipa Island. So like my Mudkip, Snivy, Charmander, any of them. So it's, it's pretty interesting. So definitely recruit strong Pokemon and then you can go save more people. 
So once you've actually saved them, you talk again to the Pelipper if you want to, I guess, and you can create a password, a QR code, which can actually be posted on Miiverse or saved to the SD card, or you can make a local connection if, you know, you're nearby, I guess. But to let the player know, basically, you have rescued them and you can send an accompanying item. So I guess for their next try, They'll have a bit more help, so maybe give them a reviver seed, an auron berry, something helpful. Uh, maybe not something like a plain seed, which is like, obviously, you know, when you use up a reviver seed, that would be a really dick move to do, but I don't know, maybe you guys are cruel. But anyway, let's move on to the right-hand side Pelipper, and this is for Street Pass, which is really interesting, this. So, when you talk to the Pelipper on the right-hand side, it allows you to select a Pokemon and give it a name and a message. So, that Pokemon will be set as a Pokemon that is sent out when you pass someone with Street Pass, you know, who has the game. That Pokemon will be sent to their version of the game, and other players can use this Pokemon when they go into a dungeon. Now, obviously, if you pass a player who has Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon as well, and they've set a Pokemon to be a Street Pass Pokemon, you will obviously receive their Pokemon. And you can also send these Pokemon to the internet. That's what Cerebi says. I've checked the English website for Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. And under Street Pass, it doesn't mention anything yet, so we might get a few more details on how that works. But if I hear anything, I will let you guys know. Now, you can actually download these Pokemon that have been uploaded to the internet and use them in missions on Pelipper Island, or obviously you could get the Pokemon you had from Street Pass and use them. And sometimes they may appear on a floor randomly in dungeons throughout the main game. You cannot play as these Pokemon, so you can set, you know, any Pokemon that you have to be the leader, but these Pokemon are a little bit different. They can't actually be playable, but they can help you out, so they can join your team. And it's still a nice feature. I didn't think they'd actually do anything with Street Pass, but I was really happy to hear that they did this with the game. Another interesting thing about Pelipper Island is that it can access every single store that you've unlocked in the game so far. So at the moment we only have Kecleon and Horlucha, but you can actually get Klefki and Configurus' stores opened up on Pelipper Island. Now we haven't actually gone to Lively Town yet, which is basically where you meet Klefki and Configurus' stores for the first time. But once we've met them, they'll start to appear on Pelipper Island. And it's really cool, you get to use the stores as you normally would. And obviously with the money you've earned in dungeons, you can spend it on items and put it in the storage box for future playthroughs. Now moving on to the final feature of Pelipper Island. This is accessing any dungeon you've unlocked in the game. And there are actually three special dungeons exclusive to Pelipper Island. Now obviously the point of having all these dungeons unlocked is that you can rescue people through Wonder Mail missions. But they can actually just be explored anyway if you just want to try out a certain team, just want to test them out. And as I mentioned before, there are three special dungeons. They're pretty small, easy dungeons according to Cerebi, which I beg to differ when I got killed by like a goth bitch earlier, as you've probably seen when it evolved on me. But I mean, obviously if you have a high level Pokemon and it's really strong, then it's going to be a breeze. But the point of these dungeons are basically just to collect items. And then what you do is you put them in your storage box, uh, your money, your items, whatever, just get rid of it all because you can't actually leave if you have money and stuff on you. So you put it in a storage box and then your main playthrough, your Pokemon will have access to the money and items you got in your mission. So I'm really looking forward to going to Pelipper Island. There's going to be a lot to do there. Street Pass is going to be pretty interesting. The Wonder Mail rescue missions, which are basically the main thing for Pelipper Island, are going to be really fun. Like I said, that bulletin board video will be going up around the, you know, the 20th of November when the game does come out in North America. It's going to be a lot of fun and hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. But that's it for this video. I hope you found this video informative. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the Twin Tendo Nation already, there's a big red button on screen or down below. Feel free to click any if you want to join. And if you haven't seen our two previous videos, they're going to be on screen right now. On the left hand side is enemies evolving in dungeons in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. It's crazy, it's going to make the game much more difficult and ruthless, but I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the challenge. So definitely check that out if you want to see the full gameplay to that. And on the right hand side guys, you can see 10 facts you need to know about Pokemon Go. Yeah, the game that everyone's really hyped coming out in 2016. I'm actually making a video on Pokemon Go tomorrow, so hopefully you'll look forward to that. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Remember to vote for your favourite Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky Dungeon. The link's going to be in the description for the straw poll. That'll end sometime next week. And I'll be uploading the results to the top 10 Blue and Red Rescue Team Dungeons next week. It's going to be really fun. This is basically what you've picked, so there can't be too many complaints. And it's just going to be a lot of fun to see whether you agree or not. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.